Hello everyone, welcome to the Codeverse. In this video, we will learn about what is constructor and why we need it. Let's understand why we need a constructor. Consider a class student which has a variable like name, college and date of birth. Now, I want to create two objects of the class student. When we create objects, then Java will create a separate copy of this variable for every object. For example, in the first object, value of the name variable is Ross and for the second object, value of the name variable is Rachel. Now, you can see for every object, Java has created a separate copy of the variable and we need to initialize the value of this variable at the time of object creation. Here, constructor comes into the picture. Constructor helps us to initialize the value of a variables of a class. Constructor is a special function that has the same name as a class name but it doesn't have any return type. Now, consider we want to initialize the variables of the class student. We will pass three parameters to our constructor and set its value to the variable of a class. When we create a new object of a student class in our main method, then we have to pass these values as a parameter to the constructor. We don't have to explicitly call the constructor. It is the first function that gets automatically invoked when we create the object of a class. We can also set the value of variables with other methods, but we have to manually call them. The advantage of constructor over other method is that we don't need to call it. The constructor will automatically get invoked when the object of a class is created. So in this way, when new object is created, then constructor will initialize the values of the variables. There are three types of constructor. First is a default constructor. This constructor is created by Java compiler. If we don't create any constructor, then Java compiler will automatically create a constructor for us at the compile time. Second is a non-parameterized constructor. As the name suggests, this type of constructor doesn't accept any parameter. It is used if we want to set the default values or to print something at the time of object creation. Third and the last type is parameterized constructor. This type of constructor accepts the parameter and used to initialize the variable of a class at the runtime. That's it for today's video. If you like this video then please subscribe to my channel.